I guess one of the things that I want out of art is help us see the moment in history that we're in. For me, the craft of being an artist is that craft of learning how to see and learning how to communicate those forms of seeing with other people. The photographs of the different buildings at night came out of a moment in 2013 when the Edward Snowden's revelations were coming out in public. And what I noticed was that almost every news story, and there were tens of thousands of news stories about these documents around the world, tended to be illustrated by a single image that really existed of the NSA's headquarters. And I thought that we are here learning so much about these agencies that we've known so little about and so what I did was I received permission to fly a helicopter over the different intelligence agencies and, and flew around them and photographed the agencies at night. And then what I did was I took the images and I made them all public domain, said that anybody can use these images. The photograph called They Watch the Moon was made in the forests and mountains in Western Virginia. Historically, there's been a big surveillance station there, a place where the NSA was collecting signals from satellites. When you communicate with somebody else, you know, energy comes out of that, that radio, and most of that energy actually dissipates into the atmosphere and keeps going. And some of that uh, energy that goes up into space hits the moon. And what the NSA realized is that by listening to the moon, you could hear communications from all over the world. The Codenames piece, it's a piece that is a catalog of nonsensical names that are attached to classified military and intelligence projects. So when you create a classified military or intelligence program, you have to name it, but you don't want to name it something that could reveal something about its existence. So you create a nonsensical name for it. The Codenames piece was made by collecting thousands and thousands of these nonsensical names and using them as a kind of found poetry to put together an installation. When you look at it closely, it seems like it wants to mean something, but it actually doesn't. And I think what you get in aggregate is that sense of confusion on one hand, coupled with a sense of scale. You start to realize how big the world of these programs is and yet also how opaque it is as well.